Okay, today I'm just I'm just doing a quick video because I'm converting my bike to an e-bike, and I want to do a quick one that focuses on the torque arms. Now, if you haven't got a purpose-built e-bike and you're converting a normal bike, the frame here is not sh really strong enough to take motors beyond 500 watts, and this is a 500 watt motor. So you need to relieve some of that pressure that's right on the end here, further down the fork, uh, and spread that load out a bit. So you get what's called a torque arm, and this is basically the kit. You've got an arm there and an arm that goes on there, like that. Um, oh, we could actually go that way. Yeah, I suspect I'm probably going to go that way with this particular build. Oh, it doesn't give me much room there, so let's try the other way around. That would be better. Oh, sorry, that way around. Duh. Yep, there you go. That's how it's going to fit on. So basically what you want is you want that as close to the fork as possible. You don't want to pull in it out there. Um, but you want some room to put the rest of these nuts in. Now, on this particular bike, I've got a little bit of an inlay there. And these torque arms come with that to cover that off. So you can just drop that in there. And then you can go up tight. Uh, you haven't got a load of space uh, underneath your washer. So let's go ahead and just put it on. It's fairly simple. if you can get it the right way around. This bit goes on the inside here uh, because that's what's going to be used to hold it on against the uh, against the fork, like that. I guess you can go the other way. That doesn't look like it's much, much there. So try and get it as close as possible to your frame and as far up as possible to spread that load. <clears throat> now I guess this is just how I do it. It's not so much as the right way, more of a philosophy. Uh, but let's get that in there and just take that up. Yeah, okay, let's get a little lock on that. Now it looks like on mine, immediately, see there's going to be a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to put an extra washer in. I don't want it too tight yet. I want it a little bit loose just so I can move it around and find out the spacing and all that's required. Yeah, actually that's all right. That's flush up against that. I'm going to put Another one on there, there. There we go. And then there. And then I'm in the middle of this bit. Not at one side, not at the other, right in the middle. And we can then put one more on. Oop. There we go. Next bit is this bit here, which we um loop it through and put it back on Right, before I tighten it up properly, give that a little bit of wiggle room. That's all wiggle room, that's in. I'm gonna tighten up these and the other side and get those solidly in place. Gonna need a bigger spanner. Uh, where's my son?
What? Not again, man. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. Don't really want to do that with the wires. So unthread those. Lovely job. Okay, next bit is let's tighten that up. Okay, I'm going to undo that one because I want that swung around a bit more. There you go, just see that move. Now we can do it. <clears throat> okay. And that bit there. to the fork and that's a torque arm on and that will spread the load a lot better let's move that round Great. I'm going to put a couple of tin snips and take that extra bit of metal off. There we go. Fold that in. Right, well that's all there is to putting a torque arm on. And as I said, anything, well, honestly, any electric bike you're, no, any bike you're converting to an electric bike, use a torque arm take the pressure off your forks a bit because this is uh, pulling them along and uh, they say 500 I would really say anything just give it a chance um, well thanks for watching hope it helps someone